Good morning, guys. I'm going to try and explain another quadratic trinomial to you today. So the one that we'll look at today is 4x squared minus 17x minus 15. Now again, factorising quadratic trinomials, we use the box method. So I draw my box. Now in my box, I need to choose two numbers that add to the thing in front of the x. So the thing in front of the x is minus 17. The two numbers that I choose need to multiply, sorry, need to multiply to 4 times minus 15. So the two numbers that I choose need to multiply to minus 60. So from here I write down all the factors of minus 60. So 1 and negative 60, or negative 1 and 60. 2 and negative 30, or negative 2 and 30. It's really important at this stage that we take the time to make sure we write down all the factors so that we don't forget the pair that we may need. 3 and negative 20, negative 3 and 20. 4 and negative 15, negative 4 and 15. 5 and negative 12, negative 5 and 12. 6 and negative 10, negative 6 and 10. They're all the factors of negative 60. Now, from that list, I look and I see if I can find which combination will add to negative 17. So I look through my list, and this one here, if I add those two numbers, I get negative 17. So they are the two that I want. So from here, I write 4x squared. Remembering this is what I want. So plus 3x minus 20x minus 15. So looking at what I've written, I've written negative 17x, but just written it in a different way. So from here, I do my grouping 2 and 2. If I look at the first two terms, x is common. If I take x out, I'm left with 4x plus 3. If I look at my second two terms, negative 5 is common. If I take that out, I get left with 4x plus 3. I now have two terms, 1, 2. For these two terms, what's in the brackets is common. So what's in the brackets is taken out as the common factor, and we are left with x, take 5. That is our answer. Thank you.